And that's how we opened a portal to the netherworld and summoned the Undertaker to the Earth Realm so I could defeat him and cement my Hall of Fame legacy. And nobody believes you. Uh, we're fine, thanks. I told you they wouldn't believe it. You know what? I, none of that crazy stuff ever happened. I, I mean, sure, I, I beat the Undertaker, you all witnessed that, but, but could you imagine all that other wacky stuff? <laughs> Portals and Marsh Ladies and Papa Shango? <laughs> yeah, gotcha, joke's on you. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get back to things that actually happened. Like when I was the longest reigning women's champion of the modern era, holding the SmackDown Live Women's Championship for over two and a half years. Jesus, that's a long time. All right, play title defense versus Terry Storm, Hell in a Cell match. Play Red's title defense versus Oscar TLC match. Play Red's title defense versus Beth Phoenix or skip and continue. Do you know what? I'm thinking of either playing against Beth Phoenix or the TLC match. Let's go with so I don't feel like killing herself uh let's press Beth oh I'll ask her oh I don't know uh let's go Beth Phoenix all right we're here at fast lane why am I coming out first as uh sure whatever all right um all right, the Glamazon Beth. I think that's her nickname. Yeah, Be Glamazon Beth Phoenix. You know, I've never versed Beth Phoenix before. Can't speak. All right, let's skip it and get on with the matchup. All right, let's go. To be honest, I should have played the um. Uh, I should have played the. TLC match. Oh well, who cares? Oh no. There we go. Take Beth Phoenix down. Working on the arm of Beth Phoenix right now. Oh shit. That's gotta hurt. Beautiful soul kick. Throwing her outside. What's she looking for? To the ropes and a bow. Beautiful suicide die. Just throw her inside. Oh, nope. She wants to throw me inside. Sure. Oop. Damn. And DDT into the kip up. Oops. Oh, reversal. Oh, I really need to change that maneuver. Alright, whenever I get the chance to, I will. Of course, Beth Phoenix's championship legacy is impressive, Michael. You already mentioned her first women's Alright, let's go. A crowning achievement. Let's get up. Get on. Keep in mind, Saxon, Beth went on to capture that same women's title a handful of other times. Padding the resume is already impressive. Okay. Ooh, not even a one count. And Beth Phoenix isn't happy about that. Come on, get up, Red. Get on up. Come on, let's go. Oh, no. Ooh, strikes. Top rope. Ooh, reversal. And two. A beautiful reversal by Beth Phoenix right there. Oh, reversal by Red again, dropping her down. Turn no, never mind. Oh, oh, kip up, turn her around. Poison runner, let's go. Go for the cover, Red. That's gotta be it. Let's go. One, two, and a kick out. She kicked out at two. Wow. Just beat her up a more. And no. She was 
to reverse the big boot by Beth Phoenix as um, Red rolls to the apron. Oh, and a beautiful Hurricane Rana and a Swan Time. Uh, what do you? I'm trying to do a dive. Come on, that's a god. I got out of there. Oh, misses the answer. Where are you going? I pointed at her to get her. Come on. Beth Phoenix stalking her prey. Reversal and dropping her down. Alright, get on up. Let's go, Beth. That so misses. Rolling outside. Come on, that's a. I wanted to do the uh, what's it called? Anyways, and dropping her straight on her arm right there. Oh, elbow straight to the full strikes by Red. Oh, and a drop kick to the outside. Red is feeling it right now. Is she, what's she looking for? She looking for the suicide dive. Barely connecting. And now I think that hurt it. Oh no, she gets up. Feel like she did feel the pain from that though. Throwing it. No, Beth Phoenix reverses. As a ref is at three. And uh, picks her up. And dropping her down. The ref is at five. Beth Phoenix better get her inside. If she wants to win the women's champion. Straight into the ring post. Not the ring post, the uh, oh, red goes inside, but does the, um, the weird maneuver, but by stopping the pit, uh, count, but that might have, oh, never mind. Oh, a reversal by Beth Phoenix, double chop to the neck, oh, belly to belly, suplex by Sun. Red wants Beth Phoenix up. Is she looking for what's she looking for? Oh, baited her in. Soul kick into the answer. Gary. Now she's looking for the super kick. Beautiful going for the cover. One. Two, and she uses resiliency and red knew that that's why she kept two finishers now she's looking for the second can she hit it can she super kick and that's gotta be it go for the cover one two oh, she kicked out Red is shocked at the moment. Oh. Rolls it into the kick to the side of the face. Ooh. She wants her up again. Is she looking for the poison runner again? Now she's looking for the third super kick and that's got to be it. Go for the cover. One, two, three. And that 
is all she wrote. She picks up the victory over Beth Phoenix. As we see the replays, three super kicks had to beat um, Beth Phoenix. As we pick up the victory, let's move on. Our record breaking SmackDown Live Women's Champion is ready to address the WWE Universe. Since I defeated Mickey James over two and a half years ago, I've had the privilege of defending this championship against the very best female competitors in WWE. But when you're the longest reigning women's champion in the modern era, it's only natural you start to look for new ways to challenge yourself. And considering it's a little wild west around here right now with no GM, I figured this was my chance to do that. So I thought about doing an open challenge but that's a little played out. I could force myself to win with the four or five count, maybe, or I could do something really unprecedented and defend my title against male superstars. Oh, so shit. What do you think? Oh, here comes the man, Becky Lynch. It's Becky Lynch. Savages. Okay, cool. I think they're one of the best things going today on SmackDown Live. Well, whether you like them or not, you can't deny the influence they have over WWE. I'm not arguing with that. Ever since Becky Lynch took control of this faction, she's pretty much been able to do whatever she wants, except for taking that SmackDown Live Women's Championship away from Red. I have a feeling that could change real soon. Pete Dunn, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, and Finn Balor following Becky Lynch. So you want to give yourself new challenges like five counts or facing men? Well, I have a better idea. How about you forget all that and face the man? <laughs> it's funny you still throw around that title after all these years. I mean, I'm the one who's held an actual title longer than anyone since the 1970s. So... I'm pretty sure that makes me the man. <clears throat> I am the man because I'm the leader of the most powerful force this sport has ever seen. And that's when there's someone in charge. So just think of what we're capable of when no one's steering the ship. So unless you want to find out what happens when we have free reign, I suggest you give me my title match tonight. If you didn't hear me the first time, I'm looking for new challenges, not rematches against played out losers I've already beat. And you and your crew trying to intimidate me isn't going to change that. Besides, everyone knows you're just all bitch and no bite. Damn. Okay, let's go. <laughs> well, if you're not going to give me a title match, then I'll just have to beat one out of you. Um, are they going to jump no, in no. and bash I'm it? I'm show Red here my bite. Oh, no, they're just going to throw in weapons. Okay, nice. So far, Red's holding her own. Becky Lynch is showing Red that she's not... Oh, here comes Trey. But I don't think that's going to be a good idea because here comes the Savages. As Becky Michael Cole said. Savages are one of the best parts of SmackDown Live. It's clear that unless she can somehow even up the sides, Red faces an uphill battle to hold on to her SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I think you're looking at the man who's going to end Red's record-breaking title reign. All righty then. This is going to be good. Let's do this. We gotta get even with Becky and her savages. How are we gonna do that? We're at a five on two disadvantage. Oh, the new day. We saw what happened out there and we wanna help. Great. Where were you 15 minutes ago? We all had severe simultaneous leg cramp syndrome or SSLCS. 
It's a real proven medical condition that can occur when superstars team as long as we have and their body's ailments become synchronized. Uh, I don't think they're buying it. Look, the truth is that we didn't want to get involved in your business. And we know sometimes certain people can be a bit stubborn about wanting to do things on their own. He's talking about you. Nah, it could be anyone. It's fine. I know I'm stubborn, but I'm not stupid. I can recognize when we need help, so we'll take it. Thank you. So do we do like a secret New Day handshake now or something? How about you two rest up and next week we'll see what we can do about Becky and her crew. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Oh, leg cramp acting up again. Uh, you, you guys feeling it too? You can stop that now. All right, joining a new day, are we? Let's do this. Not long after my issues with Becky Lynch heated up, SmackDown Damn, Live Xavier, you s sound position. weird. We were excited to see who it was. Well, until we saw who it was. Who's a SmackDown junior manager? Kurt Angle? Is a Angle? What? Brooklyn? Oh, damn. This isn't crazy. It's genius. Thank you. I'm so excited to be the new general manager of SmackTown Live. Did you just come out here, interrupt us, and say SmackTown Live? She definitely said that, and I have 2020 hearing. Uh, you're off to a good start as GM. Please continue. Knowing that I was up for this gig, I watched the show last week for the first time, and I have to say, I didn't like what I saw from you, Red. Instead of accepting Becky Lynch's challenge, you resorted to cheap insults, which led to Becky having no choice but to defend herself. So, Red, you said last week you wanted new challenges? Well, I have one for you. You're going to defend your women's championship in the first ever best out of five team match. It will be a one night series of singles matches between Red, Trey, and your buddies The New Day, taking on Becky Lynch and her savages. If Red's team wins the series, she retains her title. If Becky's team wins, she is the new SmackDown Live women's champion. She just said it again. The name of your show is SmackDown Live. Say it with me. SmackDown. Town makes more sense, but whatever. Guys, Smack guys, Town we Live, Smack what? She just put us in a best out of five series for Red's title, which seems super unfair. I mean, who would do such a thing? Who? 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 Hey, I know we formed an alliance, but that's kind of our thing, okay? With all due respect, you're really stacking the deck against Red, so I have an idea that would help even things up a bit. You give our team home field advantage. That's right. If Red's putting her title on the line under these circumstances, then the series should take place on our turf. What kind of turf are we talking? Synthetic or natural? Because I prefer a natural tall fescue. I meant more of a New Day home arena vibe, but we could look into the fescue. I like what you're thinking, except Becky's team should have an equal opportunity to secure home field advantage. So later tonight, it will be Red and a team member of her choosing versus Becky and a partner of her choice. The winner of that match will earn home field advantage for their team in the best out of five series. Who's it gonna be, Red? Yeah. yeah. Who? 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 That was a test and you passed. Good job. There's really not a bad choice, unlike the choice of Brooklyn as GM. Ooh, she just laid the smack town on her. <laughs> so I'm going to team with... Oh shit, Trey, Big E, Xavier Woods, or Kofi Kingston. I've, try, I'm, I've teamed with Trey many of times. So let's team with one of the New Day members. And I'm going to pick the former WWE Champion. Kofi Kingston, let's do this. Great decision. Oh, I can smell the sweet aroma of tall fescue headed our way. Home field advantage is on the line later tonight. 
All right, so me and Kofi versus Becky and a pun of her chosen. All right, let's do this. All right, let's do this. Right, let's see who Becky chose. Right, comes Kofi. Me and Kofi versus Becky Lynch. And she's come by herself. Who did she pick? She picked. Is that Finn Balor? I think that's the demon. Finn Balor. Oh, he's not. Yeah, it is Finn Balor. All right, let's do this. So it's Kofi Kingston and um. As I was saying, um, let's go. Oh, shots. Oh, reversal. As Red win the match to secure home field advantage. I can't speak. All right, let's go. Oh, no. Oh, backstab up. Backstab up. It's to the back. Nice. Oh, taking her down to the ground, fam. Taking her. Oh, oh. reversal by Becky Lynch. Oh, rope break. Red jumped up, and now she's taking Becky out. Oh, we haven't seen this move maneuver in a while. Looking for the people's moon, so let's. Do this. Ooh, misses a super kick already. Just looking for it already. Beautiful. And a beautiful moonsault. Ooh, reverses. And straight to the face of Becky. And a super kick to the midsection. Scoop slam. Ball. Big combination of kicks and strikes. That might be it. One. No, it's not it. Ooh, reversal. Let's go, Becky. Oh no, it's to the outside and she tagged in Finn Balor, okay then. Alright, let's go Coves. Take him down. Belly to back, suplex by Kofi Kingston. Picking her up, him up. Ooh, spinning kick to the midsection. Oh, kicked it up. Leg of. Taking it down. Kick to the back of um, Finn Bella. Ooh, reversal by Finn. Nice float out of uh, DDT. What are you doing, Finn? Um, okay. Wrenching on the neck of um, Kofi Kingston and going to tag in Becky Lynch. Wow, quick tags, I guess. And poison runner to Becky Lynch. Oh, what's she looking for? Is she looking for super kick? Go for the cover. One, two. Oh, she kicked out. What the hell? Beautiful elbow to the face of Becky. Strikes it. Reversal by Becky. 
Oh, nice DDT. And tagging in Finn Balor. Wow. Okay. You know what, Becky? Let's tag um. Shit. There we go. Double tag. Dang it. Let's try that again. Double maneuver. Let's go. Oh shit. What's they looking for? And a suplex. Going for the cover. Is that it? One. Two. No. She kicks out. Wow. Ooh, misses a super kick, but connects that time to the jaw, going for the cover. One, two, she kicks out again, but a super kick. Wow. What's she gotta do? Oh, reversal. Echoing her up. Is she looking for the poison runner? All right, let's go. Looking for the super kick. Oh no, go inside. Let's go. Red and Kofi Kingston pick up the victory to secure home field advantage. Let's do this. All right, let's move on. And that is gonna, where I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see some more WWE 2K20 Michael Remote. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.